Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about objects and classes in Scala. Let's get started. So we can start with by specifying that classes are blueprints. So what it means? A blueprint is a guide used for making something. In the real world, blueprints are usually plans for the making buildings. Like in this example, we can create multiple buildings using uh, the same blueprint with each building being unique but having a same basic architecture like it's shown here right uh, for instance a blueprint might uh, specify the number of rooms a house should have while each house uh, built using this blueprint will have a same number of rooms one house might be having rooms with the white walls other might be having uh, rooms with the blue walls making them unique entities but still it's related to the blueprint so this is called a blueprint but we can say the classes are blueprints because classes can be thought of as a blueprint with which you can create an object. This is how we can define the classes. And as far as objects are concerned, object is an instance of a class which is actual thing to be used in our programs. This is how we can define the object. So again, classes and objects are new, not a new thing in the in this Scala. It's already there in all the programming languages. We talk, you take, take example of Java as well. We are having a concept of classes and objects over there as well. Moving further, uh, in the same way a house, a single house is an instance of a blueprint, right? So we can say the classes are blueprints. So the blueprint will specify the properties of object uh, would have and also specify the operations or the methods which the object can use, right? So the properties and methods of the class are known as a members of that class. So this is the third terminology. Now, first we talked about uh, what is class, then we talked about what is object, then now we are talking about members. So what are members? The properties and methods of a class are known as a members of that class. We'll take one example now. Let's suppose uh, we have to make our person class. Okay, we need to first define its members. So members will be properties and methods. So what are properties and what are, what are methods in this case? Every person has a name, a gender and an age, right? So these are the properties of our person class and a person can also perform certain actions such as walking and talking. These are the methods of our function class, right? This is how we can define the both the things properties and the methods. Like in this example, you can see uh, when we use our person class to create a person, right? Uh, we'll create an instance of a person with its unique properties. We can create multiple instances using the same class. So you can see it here as well. Like each person, Sarah, Ben, Martin, and Hannah can perform the methods of walking and talking, right? So this is the example of the person. Now, uh, in the case of the Scala, uh, we are having the two categories. One is called built-in classes and the other are user-defined classes. When we define a string, as we already, I've already have posted one video uh, before that, you can check out, check out in my playlist of Scala. We are actually creating an instance object of the string class. I already have shown the how we can define the string and how we can perform some operation on a string. So when we define a string, we are actually creating an instance or object of the string class. So methods such as length uh, and to uppercase are all the members of the string class which can be used by an object of that class, right? So I hope uh, guys with this little short video, you must be able to understand the concept of objects and classes. Rest of the information I'll be conveying in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.